This week on Inside Boulder News. Looking to give back to the community? Boulder's Parks and Recreation Department is looking for volunteers. Boulder Creek is running faster than usual. We'll tell you why. And we'll have the latest COVID-19 updates. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Avendaño. We start off this week with your COVID-19 update. May 9th was Boulder County's first day of its CFRAD home phase and has since been in effect. Community members are still encouraged to stay home as much as possible and no gatherings over 10 people are allowed. Moving on to current cases, the total number of COVID-19 cases statewide has surpassed 20,000 confirmed cases, while Boulder County has over 800 cases. Community members are still required to practice social distancing and to wear a face mask inside businesses that are open to the public and on open space and mountain park trails. This week, Colorado Governor Jared Polis announced the reopening of some campgrounds at Colorado State Parks. Campgrounds have been closed since March 26 in an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. Cabins, yurts, teepees, group facilities, and other reservable day-use facilities remain closed until further notice. Here's a list of some of the campgrounds that are currently open. Do not camp if you or anyone in your household has any symptoms, such as fever, coughing, or shortness of breath. More information can be found on the website seen on your screen. The City of Boulder and Excel Energy announced this week that they have begun discussions that may lead to new pathways to reach the city's energy future goals as an alternative to a city-run, community-owned electric utility. The city will conduct a full public process to evaluate any potential settlement. Any franchise agreement would be subject to voter approval. Boulder's municipalization work will continue throughout negotiations, but the city and Exo Energy are hopeful these discussions will be productive. More information on this recent announcement can be found on the website seen on your screen. Looking for a way to give back to the community? Boulder's Parks and Recreation Department recently launched its new Park Champs program, a chance for community members to come together and help clean and maintain Boulder's parks. Applications are now open. Now more than ever, the city's Parks and Recreation Department needs the help of the Boulder community to keep parks and public spaces beautiful and clean for recreation. So we just launched a program called Park Champs. And it is for individuals who want to go out in their neighborhood and give back. They can adopt a space or a site or location within a park to be their own from now through July and possibly longer, depending on how um, everything goes as we open back up. Volunteers will commit to work independently between three to five hours per week, but may use their discretion on when to complete tasks each week. This will allow the city's operation staff, which is limited at this time, to focus on more technical work while providing the community opportunities for stewardship. So we're asking all the volunteers to work individually or as a family group, just with people in their homes, to ensure that they're working with in the guidelines of the safer at home policies. Volunteers will also be assigned to a park close to their homes. Ellen Becker, Boulder native and longtime volunteer for the city, shares with us her favorite part of volunteering. Being outside and cleaning up the gardens and helping the parks and rec because where workers have been furloughed, they're not able to get out and work. And the gardens need a lot of attention, and this is just a nice way to, to give back and to be outside. I think, you know, if you can give just a little bit of time every week just to help them out in that way, it would be great. The city encourages those who may be in high-risk health categories to refrain from volunteering at this time. More information on the city's Park Champs program can be found on the website seen on your screen. Barker Dam is full, so full it's spilling. But not to worry, this is a normal and expected event. We spoke to Joe Tadiuchi, the city's director of public works for utilities, to find out what this means for the city. Folks around town may have started to notice the Boulder Creek running pretty fast. With the winter snowpack melting and recent rainfall, dams around Boulder are filling up, including Barker Dam, located in Boulder Canyon. When it gets to a certain point, there's a feature of the dam that's called a spillway. And the, uh, it's, a, it des, it's a design component of the dam. And when, it, when the reservoir gets to that level, the water spills over the spillway and into the creek, as it's supposed to do. That's a normal event that happens every year. 
Barker Dam is a City of Boulder water supply reservoir. Every year during the winter, the city draws water from that reservoir, causing levels to drop. Once spring comes, snow melt and rainfall cause the levels to rise once again. It's fairly typical during the spring runoff when we hit our peak flows for there to be some minor flooding at some of the underpasses. So people just have to be aware of the signs and, and watch out for underpasses being closed. They're cl clearly marked when that happens and so um, it's hard to say whether that'll happen this year or not. Peak flows can get up to 400 cubic feet per second. During spring runoff, the stream flows can get up to 700 or more cubic feet per second, which will then make law enforcement ban tubes on the creek. The peak flow that happens in the creek is a function of the weather. If we suddenly have really high temperatures for an extended period and the snow melts off really quickly, there could be higher flows than normal in Boulder Creek. It's been kind of a cool and wet spring so far, and so runoff is starting a little bit later. If it stays cool and wet, it, it, the flows may be lower in town. Increased flows along the creek are expected to continue throughout mid to late July. For more information, please visit the website displayed on your screen. Parking in the city garages, which has been offered at no charge since city offices closed on March 16th, will return to paid parking on Monday, May 18th. Incentives, however, will be offered through June 30th. The new incentives for parking in city garages downtown include a new weekday parking rate of $1.25 per hour with no increase to $2.50 an hour after four hours of parking and a daily cap of $8 a day. The flat rate of $3 from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. on weekdays will continue. And as always, parking is free on weekends and holidays. Short-term parking in the city's downtown parking garages continues to be allowed for no charge through May 17th. Also beginning on May 18th, Parking enforcement and staffing will begin to increase in the city's parking districts. Officers will educate and warn customers about parking ordinances, as well as help notify drivers about the 20-minute grace period at on-street paid parking locations to accommodate curbside pickup, takeout, and delivery options at retailers and restaurants. More information on the city's parking management and enforcement can be found on the city's newsroom. A big congratulations to CU Boulder's Class of 2020. Though this year's commencement ceremonies have been canceled due to the current pandemic, graduates are invited to a live-streamed commencement ceremony on Saturday, May 16th. Graduates are welcome to return to campus in May 2021 to walk in the university commencement ceremony and attend special recognition events. More information can be found on the website seen on your screen. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. Stay tuned to Boulder Channel 8 for up-to-date information on coronavirus. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel.com and click on subscribe. And be sure to check out the city's online newsroom for the latest city news. We'll see you next time.